Hi, Glendale United Methodist and friends. This is Pastor Stephanie once again for today's virtual Station of the Cross here on Good Friday. Today we're going to hear the story of Peter's denial of Jesus. So I will pull that up on the screen for you. The scripture is from John 18 verses 15 through 27. Simon Peter and another disciple followed Jesus. Since that disciple was known to the high priest, he went with Jesus into the courtyard of the high priest. But Peter was standing outside at the gate. So the other disciple, who was known to the high priest, went out and spoke to the woman who guarded the gate and brought, brought Peter in. The woman said to Peter, you are not also one of this man's disciples, are you? He said, I am not. Now the slaves and the police had made a charcoal fire because it was cold, and they were standing round it and warming themselves. Peter was also standing with them and warming himself. Then the high priest questioned Jesus about his disciples and about his teaching. Jesus answered, I have spoken openly to the world. I have always taught in synagogues and in the temple where all the news come together, where all the Jews come together. I have said nothing in secret. Why do you ask me? Ask those who heard what I said to them. They know what I said. When he had said this, one of the police standing nearby struck Jesus on the face, saying, is that how you answer the high priest? Jesus answered, if I have spoken wrongly, testify to the wrong. But if I have spoken rightly, why do you strike me? Then Anas sent him bound to Caiaphas, the high priest. Now Simon Peter was standing and warming himself. They asked him, you are not also one of the disciples, are you? He denied it and said, I am not. One of the slaves of the high priest, a relative of the man who's Ear Peter had cut, off, had cut off, asked, did I not see you in the garden with him? Again, Peter denied it, and at that moment, the cock crowed. As you hear in this story, Peter, who was very close to Jesus, one of those disciples that spent so much time with him, and also a disciple that we hear a lot about, and when we hear Peter's denial, it's hard not to think that that could be us as well. Jesus told Peter that he would deny him three times, and Peter said, no, Lord, there's no way I would ever do that. And then here we have this story where he does it three times, and when he hears that cock crow, he knows that he has failed and done exactly what he said that he would not do. But I think Peter's story um, is so similar to many of our own. We all have these great intentions about who we are and how we are going to live our lives, but sometimes we just make mistakes and don't live up to what we say that we are going to do. So today I have an activity for you as you think and ponder upon this story. Um, and what I'm gonna ask you to do is to get a piece of paper I'm going to pull up this piece of paper for myself here on the board. Um, and you can get um, anything you want to write with. You can get crayons, markers, pencil, pen, whatever you want. And I want you to start with just making a line on your paper. Um, it can be a bad line. It can be in any direction. I don't really want you to think about it much. You're just going to make a line. And I want you to pretend that this line is a mistake on your paper just like perhaps the mistake that peter made in design jesus and now your activity for today um, that i want you to do is just to spend some time thinking about how you might make that mistake and make it look as if it were not a mistake make it use it for good um, and so you can turn this into anything creative that you want um, here I'm going to add some blue, maybe make some water down here. 
I'm not a very good drawer, so I'm sure you can do a much better job than I'm going to do. I'm going to pretend that this is a grassy hillside. You know what? I am going to add some flowers to my hillside. Another one. There. So no longer do I just have this black mistake running through my picture. But now I have drawn something and made something of that mistake. And I think when I hear Peter's story, um, we know in the end that Jesus goes on to use Peter for great things. He builds the church upon Peter, the man who denied Jesus three times. He denied that he even knew him. And I think that is a lesson for all of us, that we all make mistakes. We're all going to do things that we didn't want to do, but that doesn't mean that God can't use that to make something out of us. So let me close us with a prayer today. God, we thank you that you don't give up on us, even when we make mistakes, even when we do things that we ourselves don't want to do. We thank you for the story of Peter, and we know that you went on to do great things with Peter, just as you can use all of us to go on and do great things, even if we are not perfect. Today, we once again lift up all of our healthcare workers and all of our essential workers around the country and around the world as we continue to fight COVID-19. Lord, we ask that you would keep them safe and that you would bring an end to this virus. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, and I hope to see everyone tonight at our Good Friday service at seven o'clock online.